Let's see, I kind of need this boar. Ooh, we got him. Because if I don't do that... Ooh, Nelly. Oh, I want this deer. I want this deer. Hello, beauty. Hiya! And we have the wind on our side. Goodness gracious, is this Christmas or what? Oh no, don't do this to me, Bambi. Come on. Woo, and we are back. Welcome everyone, welcome back to the series. We're back on the melee warrior. We're back on hardcore permadeath challenge. And in this particular one is very funny because I'm not allowed, I've not allowed myself to use any ranged weapon like bows or high range weapon like bows. Now uh, spears don't count as a ranged weapon since you, they are primarily used up close. And I also need some sort of an advantage when it comes to drakes and, uh, and basically any flying enemies like yals and stuff like that. Otherwise it's impossible to uh, get the resources. So let's just sleep on it. It's close to night time. I'm gonna have the world settings on the screen. We're also gonna have the stats. I'm gonna <laughs> show it to you in the morning. So um, so we have a sense of progress in terms of stats and everything. Okay, let's check them out. Like here, nothing much going on. Knives. One of you suggested that uh, <laughs> I haven't actually upgraded my knife. Now, uh, I haven't played this in quite a while and I didn't. There you go. So, um, yeah, let's just do that. Let's upgrade the knife. You can do this. I may need the club versus the skeletons. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Might as well use the knife. We can use the club. Whatever. At this point, I'd rather not use the club. We'll see. So, 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 so. Let me get a hang of what's going on in here because, like I said, it's been around, wow, a week and something since I've played this, so uh, I just know that we got the armor here. Oh yeah, we were about to cook food. What am I doing? So let's cook some food. Let's just do that. I have no wood whatsoever. Quick, 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 quick. Grab some quick wood. So obviously I don't think I'm gonna settle down here because I don't have any black forest nearby, so I might look for one. Might as well explore this island, go in a different direction. So we're gonna do a bit of exploration here, trying to find a good spot for a base and stuff like that. Because that's kind of the main reason... Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> the main reason is to find a spot for a base. Now I found this spot, which is close to the ocean. I haven't explored uh, the shores. But we're just gonna do, we're gonna do that pretty soon. Let me just grab some food here, because we have the honey, we have also the boar meat, deer meat, and all the goodies in here. Okay, so might as well, what am I doing? Could use one more. There. Five. So let's get some actual HP in here. Because we kind of lack the, kind of lack the HP, we don't have enough. I also want to wait for the beehives to get some honey. So, uh, going, 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 let's grab this. Good. Yeah, we're gonna play with uh, two HP foods, one stamina food, otherwise it's impossible to... <laughs> uh, yeah, I tried to play with three HP foods and I died, so that's a no-go. The only reason why I died was because uh, of a mistimed dodge roll, but uh, I would have died anyway, because uh, you're running out of stamina, so... Yeah, kind of need those. Okay, so at this point, I'd rather just go exploring a bit. Can get our HP here. Yeah, we can do that. Let's go explore south. And if I'm happy with whatever I find south from here, from this location, we can move there. It will be a quick running up and down the coastline. But I really want to explore some more and get a, 
Let's get the feathers. Yeah, like feathers. I need them for a cape later on. But right now, at this point... There's no way to grab feathers if you're not using the spear. So it's impossible to play this class to fully unlock the potential of this class, like the melee class, if you're not using the spear at all. So another... Ooh, let's see, I kind of need this boar. Ooh, we got him. See, the knife is the way to go. <laughs> okay, so the knife is definitely the way to go around this. And grab this bird too. And there's some black forest right there, which is rather concerning. <laughs> uh, oh, I've been there. Yeah, it's the Great Rift Tower that I refused to go in because I didn't want to die or risk it too much. But yeah, in a different order, we've reached at this point, at the, at the point of this recording, I think we're around 570 members on this channel, so <laughs> which is amazing. I didn't think uh, I didn't think I will go to 100 this year. So seeing you, uh, all amazing people there. Supporting the channel and this community is just wholesome, it's awesome, it's amazing for me. And I want to address that, so big thanks from me. There's also a special video on the main page of the channel, feel free to check it out. Special thanks for you, for all of you who contributed to uh, actually have making this channel happening and keeping, keeping it up. Okay, back to our game here. Ooh, we can see some boar in there. Now, actually, what I want to do is I want to aggro them all. Because if I don't do that... Ooh, Nelly. Come on. Come on. Actually, I think the spear is the best way to go around this. Because I can one-shot them with the spear. As opposed to the bow. The bow, right? <laughs> Uh, oh no, I missed. <laughs> okay. Oh, knife it is. Come on. Uh, this, these guys are no longer a problem. I don't know why I'm so scared of them. For some reason in my head... Okay. <laughs> so for some reason in my head, these guys are... Uh, are still strong and powerful. Just because I don't... Hold on, let me check some settings here. Okay, we're good. Just because I have the armor, uh, the leather armor... It actually counts, it matters a lot. Practically all unlocks new possibilities and uh, new potential. Some deer, yeah, but I'm not hunting deer at this point. We'll go for deer later on. Also mushrooms. I just want to go down this side of the island because I'm curious to see. We might move to another island if that's another island. And it kind of looks like it is. Ooh. We might just do that. Just need to remember to go along the coastline here back to the spawn location. Or maybe draw a line somehow. I don't know if that's possible. That's even possible. There are a lot of boar here. And we're going to get them all. Wow, the, the knife is totally overpowered. Oh my goodness, might well use the knife for this entire playthrough. Ooh, let's go for a melee. <laughs> let's go for a full tank warrior <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. That's kind of silly to have a huge warrior using a, wielding a small knife. But yeah, I kind of need the raft to go to the other way. To the other island, but I want to go for the other island because I can see some black forest right there. That coloring in the distance is a black forest. Whereas I haven't found any on this one, just found a small patch, but I'm not happy with that. So we might go. Oh, another bird. So I might go for this, for this island. Looks like a nice patch of meadows, really open there. We can go for a base. For an early game base. 
We can raise some walls. The only problem that I have is defeating the Ikethyr. So I don't know if that's 100% a good idea. Also, I want to move underground under the Elder. But yeah, again, that kind of kind of takes a lot of time and preparation. So let's just go back to the base. Now that I found no actual Black Forest here, we're just gonna go right back to the base. Quickly, 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 because I have some food left on the stove. Not really. Okay, got a lot of boar. Now, no matter what, I need to grab this boar meat back with me. So definitely what I want to do is raise the knife skill. These knives are overpowered. Once we get my, uh, once we get our hands on the uh, Abyssal Razor, my favorite weapon, in terms of knives, I think we'll be super, super safe. By the way, we can one-shot trolls with the Abyssal Razor, so... Tell me if that's not broken. <laughs> it's kind of, It kind of is. Because you just need the Abyssal Razor and you can one-shot one of the most dangerous enemy in early to mid-game. Because no matter what, what someone says, the troll is definitely the most dangerous enemy. I was actually afraid I might lose the spear here. I'm not such a good spear thrower. In real life, I'm not the spear troll. I've tried a few times, you know, with makeshift spears and everything when I was a kid. And we used to play all, days, all day with those, with those spears, with bows and everything. Since I lived the countryside, we had a lot of uh, <laughs> adventures and trouble. We got, we usually got into a lot of trouble with the other kids because we kind of started some sort of. Oh my goodness! Let's just get rid of this guy. That's a two-star deer right there. So we used to play with the other kids in the village, like start some sort of uh, wars, <laughs> and we usually attacked each other and. With spears and clubs and stuff like that, but not nothing dangerous, of course. But uh, sometimes the parents would get involved and stay away from my kid <laughs> and stuff like that. Oh, I want this deer! I want this deer! Hello, beauty. Hiya! Oh, I feel sorry now. Please forgive me, but I need your meat. Oh my God! Look at that delicious meat. So you only need a, a two-star deer to compensate for all the deer loss <laughs> that I've had so far. Uh-oh, how come on? How did you spot me there? Is my sneak skill not high enough? Actually, eight. <laughs> okay. So that's, yeah, that's that's a that's a, that's a positive answer on that. So, eh, I got it. Obviously, we don't have enough sneaky skill. But what I'm going to do here, since we don't have enough weapons here and everything, I'm going to leave these behind. I'm going to just grab the bees with me and their precious honey. I was actually lucky to find this many bees so early on. So we'll go quickly here to repair and wait for the rested buff. Super, super fast. I'm gonna skip all the grind. I'm gonna keep the exploring in the video, I'm just gonna skip the grind. Because you don't wanna see me grinding, and I will. it will be a lot of grinding involved in the future, so... I'm 100% sure that you don't wanna see that. So we are gonna skip that. Other than that... I'm gonna keep everything in the video. Okay, so things that I need to bring with me. We, I wanna move this, we're not gonna stay here. I need the bones, kinda need these, we don't need those. I uh, kinda need the food. The deer trophies, yeah, we can grab all of those. Um, I also need the bee, just the queen bees, yeah. Okay, we're good to go. Actually, let me just uh, clear these things out of the way. Okay. Okay, we're good to go. We're good to move our base. So it's either going to be that island that I've spotted right down there. And we can always come back and fight Ikethyr on this island. Let me see if it's, there isn't by any chance an Ikethyr altar nearby, because it might totally be one. It's a high chance that there is one. Because there are usually three on this island, so let me just check these wide open areas. See if we won't get lucky at any point. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of the devil, <laughs> it's right here. Wow, what are the odds? Just near our small outpost. 
Oh, actually, oh my goodness, I've spotted this one in the other episode. Am I crazy or what? I was there, and I know I've spotted this one. I just remember now. I remember this area <laughs> a week and a half ago. I was right there, and I spotted this altar. Okay, so now that we know where the uh, Ikthyr altar is, we can totally go for... Uh, for moving our base to the next island. Let me see what I need for a raft. Where is my raft? I've got everything. We've got everything prepared. So I definitely want to move to the other island. That's that's 100% happening. Like I said, I'm not happy with the black forest that we have here. It's totally not satisfying me at all. It's a rather unsatisfactory black forest. Now I'm gonna get you. Be sure with my 8 sneak skill, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna bite you in that little juicy deer bum. Yeah, <laughs> Got her. I'm the worst hunter ever. I'm just destroying nature. I'm killing Bambi, of course. Sorry, Bambi. But you need to go, because you're delicious. Ooh, ooh, another Bambi, another Bambi. Let me catch it. No, it's impossible. Just kidding. Yeah, like, I, I, I'm looking... Okay, hear me out. <laughs> what am I talking about? So I'm looking that way, right? Because you might see, ooh, those are pine trees. That might be a black forest or, or fir trees. That's no black forest. There should be tall pine trees in the background, and there are none. There are beech trees behind those, so that's just a small sad patch of forest. So uh, I haven't found any at this point. We might as well press onward on that island, because... Uh, I don't know, kind of have a good feeling. I've never settled myself on an island, so let's just do that. It's close to the spawn location. I'll never, sorry, not super close, but it's near the main island. So we can have our base right down there. Some cute little base. Yeah, it's getting close to night time, so maybe I should have slept before doing all this. But now it's kind of late to do that, <laughs> so... YOLO. We have to go, we have to do this, we have to move our base. Before we get too many items, because like, you can see my inventory is packed with items at this point. So might as well. Let's have some order here while we wait for our stamina. So, uh, in a perfect universe, I could just swim this entire length from here to there. And it's totally swimmable, I just have to do something that most of you hate. And that is logging out. Well, that's a one star. Thing is, I don't have enough room and I have to scare her off. Yeah, so I have to log out in order for me to get there and that's something you don't like to see. So I get it. So we won't log out. We're just gonna do it the normal way using a raft. Friend, listen, listen. I'm trying to move my apartment here. <laughs> my base. 19. I kind of need around 30 for a workbench. 28. That's perfect. Look at this. 30. Wow. Look at that symmetrical thing. That's perfect. So we have our raft. Bam. Look at that. That's the most... That's the... Highly the, the best performance boat that you can get in Valheim at this level. And we have the wind on our side. Goodness gracious, is this Christmas or what? <laughs> oh god. There's nothing more peaceful than playing in the meadows. Now coming from because I've started, you know, I've started the archer we're playing the archer too simultaneously with this one, with the melee uh, challenge on the same difficulty, so we're still hardcore from that. But there's nothing more peaceful than spending time in the meadows. It, it just nothing can top this off. It's just amazing. It's so quiet, so peaceful, no raids, no dangers, no enemies that can kill you, as long as you stay in the meadows, that is. It's one of the best experiences. Now, seeing the max speed on the raft, it's still better than what I had when I moved the base on the archer. So when I had to move the base on the archer, uh, <laughs> the longship was fully packed with, a lot of, with six carts, and it was so heavy that it actually moved the um, slower, it was actually slower than the raft, while pedaling, of course. At full speed it was still better, obviously. But yeah, it was impossible to move unless I had the wind with me. So we have a nice little island here, 
I don't know where I'm gonna go. This looks like a nice village, so we're gonna maybe spend the night here. Look at this, this is actually cute. And I can hear bees. Oh, ho, ho. we're gonna have honey for days. Um, What is this, wood? Wood, okay. So let's just get rid of this food so I can grab some wood instead of food and bring it back to the hood. Okay. Silly jokes. I'm done. I'm done with those. Okay, so you can uncover your ears, guys. Um, <laughs> let me grab just some wood here. Didn't want to be anything anything fancy. Just need some wood. And I could actually use some stone, too. Now, where's the pickaxe when you need one? Oh, goodness. I need to find stones manually. Great. So until I find myself some stones, it's impossible for me to sleep, because in Valheim you need an open fire for some reason. Yeah, the night get really cold, so you need a fire, obviously, otherwise you're gonna catch a cold or what? You're gonna be sneezing. Imagine your your character going chow, chow, chow. sneezing all everywhere. Spreading germs and sickness. Come on. Really? This island has no stones? I'm back to the river? Back to the river. That, that This is... Yeah, this is the river. Oh, look. We found two. Oh, look. We found all of them. It's fine. <laughs> Just when I started complaining. That's what happens when you start complaining. All the good things are beginning to actually show up. And improve the quality of life. Okay, but I need this. I need the stones. We need the open fire here, just like that. And we're gonna need a workbench -y thingy going on here. Come on. Let's grab the workbench there. Let's grab a bed here, because it's dark and I can't see anything and it's kind of scary. Let's repair. We can drop these, we can drop these, we can grab our food back. Look at that, we're sleeping through the roof. Dreaming of hay bales and straws <laughs> everywhere. Okay. It's morning. I don't get the rested buff. What's with this weird... Oh, yeah, right. Uh, so here's the tip. If you're going to sleep outside-ish, like here, when you sleep, you're going to have your head outside the house. <laughs> You're not gonna get the rest of the buff when you wake up, and that's kind of a bummer. But still, it's fine, we can wait here for 10 extra seconds, just because uh, it's still dark outside, can't see anything. So it's good to, st to know that there are bees here. I kind of want to go back to the boat and want to move on the coastline. If So this is the only... Uh, this is the best way to navigate, because people usually say, Ooh, how are you navigating without a map? Actually, I'm kind of getting lost right now, so... <laughs> we came that way. We came from that way. So this is how you navigate without the map. You just stick to the coastline. Move around the coastlines. Don't go too far inland. Or if you have to go inland, use the hoe to mark your terrain. Either you have a pathing or you flatten the dirt or the ground. Just use the hoe. Do me a favor and use the hoe. Okay, now I'm gonna move this way. Actually, I think it was better the other way around, because I've spotted the forest this way. Yeah. Well, let's see if my theory is correct. So if you see a... Um, in the distance, when you look at the island in the distance, and it's not rendered properly with all the trees and elements, if you're gonna see a um, light green color, like this one, obviously that's the meadows. And if you're gonna see a darkish color, color going to khaki color, then that is Black Forest, and I might be wrong. Ooh, more bees, <laughs> oh my god. So I might be wrong, that wasn't the color I spotted, there was a different one. Way back there. Or is it that one? And I might have mistaken myself, so... This could totally be a waste of time here. But yeah, I need to explore, I need to find my Black Forest, because... Like, I am looking that way. And I can't see any black forest. Now, there might totally be one there, but right at this point, 
I love this little island, honestly. Even if it has no black forest, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it and make it my own or our own. Okay, so... Black forest? Nope. But this is a nice open area. Oh my goodness, this is a very good area for a base. Look at all this flat area. Wow. You can totally work with this. Goodness. Okay, so this spot remains there. Good spot for a base. We're going to keep it in mind. Just kind of reluctant to see. Ooh, and there it is. There's the Black Forest. It's kind of a weird thing going on with a weirdly shaped island here. Okay, so we can totally have a base there if the Dark Forest is right there. We can definitely have a base here. I'm just going to move here just a bit inland. Closer to the forest to see if I'm not finding myself a better spot for a base. We're going to jump straight into permanent base. So even if... Uh, even if I'm not settling underneath the Elder again. So we're just going to have a nice open base here. Because I can totally deal with drakes and whatnot. I have actually a really good idea to how to deal with those without them actually destroying our base. Too bad. Too much. <laughs> okay, so it kind of looks like I'm uh, not finding a better place for a base. But I, I know there are bees there again. Oh my goodness, we're going to have honey for days, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so... Um this looks rather weird. That's a weird looking island, so it's kind of going in a U shape. But I feel like we're good here. That looks like a very, very, very large and rich black forest, so we're gonna go for that. Hi, buddy. Wait till you see my abyssal razor. Wait till you see that. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that spot and go for a permanent base and start working on the base. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grind all the materials that I need for a first base. Sort of say for the... I'm going to make a tiny base. The one I usually make. And I have it in one of the channel, the cute little tiny house. Because it's super effective early, uh, early game, all the way up to the Black Forest and the smelting process. We're totally going for that. Meanwhile, we can work on flattening the, the ground here and everything. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for the base. Actually, I can even raise the... the. I can farm stone. Yeah, I can definitely collect stone like this. And raise the... But I don't know where, where I might find this much stone, so... Kinda need the pickaxe. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go for the small base at this point. Then maybe defeat the... Aktheer. Grab the pick. And start working on the large base. Draw all the raids. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna be back with you. Once I am having chests here with all the materials needed to actually craft the base. Okay, we are back. So I farmed the entire night and the remaining time of that day. I've grabbed this chest of wood right here. A ton of resin, of course, and some extra wood stacks right here. Let me show you what I farmed. It was like this area right here. So you don't need that much wood, you need a, like a chest of wood to build the first base that will take you all the way up to the Black Forest and uh, even beyond if you wish. So yeah, like, I, like you see I cleared this area right here, some trees there. And now, since this is the new day, let's just actually build the crazy little new base. And after this we can do a bit of more exploring right here, we can work on some defenses around the base if need be. Although we're fighting uh, <laughs> graylings, we're fighting graylings and a boar, so I don't know if uh, any def defenses right now at this point are uh, necessary. Where do I want this? Uh, I kind of want it here, so let's just build it here. If you want to see how I built this base, you can obviously watch this video, but I have an entire video on this little base. that is um, in the channel, in the building sections. There's the building section. And I've explained it in more detail 
what I'm doing right there and why I'm doing certain <laughs> certain things. So basically I'm just gonna extend these areas. Obviously right here. We're gonna have our storage units right up here on, on top of the house. You can have it outside if you want. It's just a small little cozy house. Like I said, I've built it on the Archer too before moving on to different bases <laughs> all over the map. But we kinda have like two bases. So it isn't that much uh, that much complicated with the Archer too. So just wanna have a small window here. We're gonna have some extra windows here. You know, to have that little bit of natural lightning coming in here. Okay, then we can go and close these areas up. No. Like this. Actually, let me snap it to the top, because this is way easier. When you're using snap points in the building, it just takes another dimension. And it's so much more easier. But yeah, basically the wood that I farmed is required to build this house. You kind of need a full chest of wood. And if you get grab some extra wood, that's just toward your benefit <laughs> easily. You can have wood for smelting later and stuff like this. We can have our bed. I'm out of wood. So that was a hundred and something wood. I usually keep two stacks and I usually keep them up here where I can see them. Just like that. We're having our door right here. Let me see in which way like this. Just to have some privacy. You know, so the Grey Dwarves just... Uh, the Greylings don't peek inside and see me naked and stuff like that. Just have our chests here. It's a bit hard to place the chests because I can't see anything. I have a big head. <laughs> and I can't see anything because of my big head. There's also a helmet on my head, so... Okay, we're gonna have our next level of chests. Right, so, just place these small platforms. We're out of wood again, obviously. This build is gonna go through your wood like crazy. But uh, mostly the chests are gonna be <laughs> the main consumer. The main wood thief. Kind of like to place them as um, perfect as possible, or perfect to my standards, because uh, who knows? Maybe one of you has a different standard of perfection. So there, that does it for me. I'm happy with that. Oh, we actually have some resin with us. That's not enough. I'm gonna have to come back with work on the resin. What am I doing here? Okay, this one stay right here. I'm gonna have these small platforms because we're gonna name it. We're gonna name every single section of the chest. We're gonna have our bed here. And right here, I'm gonna have, hold on, let me grab some extra wood. And some extra resin. Let's just take care of the lightning inside too. Because I usually have, hold on. I usually have one here one here. So I'm usually running with two torches in here. Nice cozy bed right here. Kind of low on food. I need to cook soon. Okay, so... Yeah, we can go like this. Why not? Or even use it from the bottom. Hmm, let's see. Oh, let's go for the bottom. Let's just go for the bottom. So we're gonna keep our food here, our early game food, up until we can afford a uh, larger base. But then again, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Because the larger the base, the more monsters, uh, the more raids will attract. Okay, so that that's done and settled. I don't need this actually right here because we're gonna extend. We're gonna extend. There you go, there. That area. Like this. We're gonna go like this here. 
I can stay like this, I don't mind it. It can be nice and round. And the chimney will go on top of there. And grab some rocks. Have our campfire. Now this is one of the reasons that I don't <laughs> I don't play with the fire hazards on. Oh my god. I, I wish they removed this dust when you place stuff on the map or objects. So annoying. Yeah, otherwise my entire buildings will burn. <laughs> Obviously I won't be able to have any buildings. Let's just wait for a rested buff. Let me find a sweet spot. There's the sweet spot. We can go for that. I'm gonna place the resin back after we get the rested buff. Have a save. Just in case the game crashes. It usually doesn't crash that often. It usually crashes more when they launch a new patch and stuff like that. Keep in mind, this game is not finished, so still, <laughs> this is still the beta version. They're still working on it, they want to add another biome. I mean, they should add another biome. Everything is prepared for it, so the next biome will be deep north. It's going to be pretty interesting biome, to say the least, because we're going to have to travel and fight frozen creatures, frost creatures, the deepest si uh, parts of the north. I wish I wish we'd get a new knife because uh, I was really sad to see that the uh, yeah we're gonna get an event. Hold on, let me get in on top of the house because I need to fix the chimney. Now oh, come on. Oh, actually, I don't need this. Yeah, it's fine. My bees will, will get you. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Yeah, we can go like this. Stay strong, bees. <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the bees are taking care of the first raid. Actually, this is the first raid ever. I think this is the first raid ever. Or... Do we have another raid? No, this is the first one. Let's go for a very tall chimney. Just because I don't want to have smoke in the house, obviously. It's the bottom two, one, there. Nice. Good. Yeah, but we're already we are already having raids. That tells you a lot about this <laughs> raid setting. Hiya! 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 God, I love the knives. It's amazingly powerful. Come here. Come back here. Where are you going? Actually, these guys are so cute. I feel bad for taking them out. Just like I feel with Bambi. <laughs> They're little deer. They wanted to be... Wanted not to be eaten, I guess. So... <laughs> Okay, putting all that aside, this is how <laughs> the maze looks like, so don't judge it, it looks really weird and poor. Uh, <laughs> but it's effective, so it does its job. Okay, let's see. Now, I need to do, 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 rename the chests and have name tags on the chests. For that, what are we going to cook? Necktails? I'm going to need five of them. So four inside, and one here. Yeah, we can cook that. And after that's done and out of the way, we can have some... Actually, I kind of need to fix this area right here. Where's my hoe? Kind of need to fix this area, I don't like it. It's kind of right in front of the house. Getting a bit claustrophobic right here. Okay, so, 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 okay, now we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't know if I have enough wood to <laughs> surround this entire property with a uh, steak wall, but I kind of want to do that, just to keep away the raids, also the great dwarves. We can have even uh, spikes near the walls. 
Also, we can have dirt walls around this thingy. Because it's not much. But then again, yeah, we can go for the... Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's just get rid of this. Let's grab it. I need 10 wood. Place our signs. We can color them afterwards. I really love the fact that you can color the signs without using any mods. It's kind of sweet. So let's go. Oh, I think I've messed up. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're going to have wood, stone, and miscellaneous in here. We're going to have uh, meadows and black forest. Some items here from meadows, black forest. We're going to have ingots and gold in here. And we're going to have... Random. We're gonna go for random, place uh, items in here that are not important, like tools, like this. Oh no, wait. Which chest was that one? I meant <laughs> this one, okay. Uh, it was a bit messy. Okay, now I can actually grab the entire... tear this thing down, because we no longer need it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that was silly, I kinda need a workbench here. Come on. Grant me this, grant me this workbench. Okay, it's working. Just had to test the workbench <laughs> to see if it's working. Okay, let's grab all this. Da -da 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 -da. We're getting a lot of wood. No room in inventory, good. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, wait, I forgot to rename this. We're gonna go for uh, vegan and then meat. Do we have anything? Oh, we do. We do have something in here. We're gonna grab all the delicious meat in here. We're gonna go for a raspberry. Yeah, like this. I think we're good. I think we're fine at this point. Yep. Yeah, we can go. Get inside, place everything in here. So we can go in here. Ooh, I need uh, I need one for trophies. Right. We can have that one for trophy. These two for trophies. Yeah. Okay. Stone can go in here. Yeah, that can go in here, and then we're gonna have some special one. Good. Uh, these two for the meadows. For the gold chest. I'm gonna keep the gold there, and we're gonna keep the gems in there. Okay, so let's grab the rest in here. See if you're keeping yourself organized, you're gonna... This only takes, keep in mind that this only took us like what? Five to ten minutes? Not even ten minutes. And the more organized you are, the less time you're gonna spend worrying about everything else in the game. Yeah, but I don't know if I can get... Let's try actually, because it doesn't hurt to try, I guess. <laughs> Um, no, no, we're not doing this. I'm gonna have dirt walls. I'm gonna have dirt walls. Not wasting wood on this. I'm gonna farm stone. There's a lot of stone here. I don't even don't even need the pickaxe at this point. There's a lot of stone like this. And we're actually gonna go for some of the stone. Let me show you how much stone you can find around here. Just I'm gonna waste two, two minutes of your time just <laughs> to show you how much stone you can get around here. We're also gonna need some flint, so I'm gonna go grab some stone and some flint. Look at this. Goodness, there's a lot of stone. So if I get a nice few stacks of 50 stones, I can uh, raise a wall. It doesn't need to be tall enough to keep away the trolls. Come here. Come here. I also need to upgrade all the items to level 3. Also the club, since we're going to go for skeletons and stuff like that. So, <laughs> still a lot of work to be done. But yeah, let's just grab... Look at this. I've seen these when I came for the trees, to farm the trees, so there was... I remember this area for having a ton of a ton of rocks on the ground. So let's just grab that. Look at this area. Man, that's a lot of stone. Just sitting there. And that's a one-star deer. Oh dear. Oh, 
Now there's one here, hiding near the bush. Some extra stone here. Basically, um, let me show you where you're gonna find a ton more stone. Ooh, we're already having a 50 stack. Let me show you the perfect area for uh, farming stone. Like this, without the pickaxe. Because we have some weird slopes down here. I'm gonna just going to show it to you. Wait, what's here? Oh, another boar got butchered. I thought it was killed by the bees. Apparently not. I don't know what happened to him. Okay, so I got rid of those. Let me show you where you get a ton of stone. Like I said, I want to keep the grind off the camera, but I'm just really, really pumped up and happy about the fact. See, on slopes like this. Basically any type of slope. Look at here, look here. We should have a ton of stone all the way up until there. So let's test that theory, shall we? Okay, so nothing here. But don't despair, there usually are tons, tons of rocks and stone. Look at this, see? You can actually find clusters of them. There's some there. So yeah, I can definitely farm this. We're gonna farm this off the camera. I'm gonna farm this between the episodes. And look at this, wow. Actually really cool. Another stack of 50 right, just just for five, minute, five minutes of farming stone. No pickaxe needed. Just some patience. 48. Man, that's, that's a lot of it. See, told you you're gonna find a lot of it on these slopes. Like right here. Right here. That's their uh, favorite place. <laughs> of spawning. Okay, enough enough with the rocks. Yeah, we're gonna go for uh, for some flint in the morning. We have plenty of rocks, so we actually can start working on the wall, because I won't build a very tall dirt wall, we just need to keep the green dwarfs outside. Also, I'm gonna need to test that wall. Because some creatures can actually climb the wall. I don't have a troll or something climbing in here. But we shouldn't have trolls at this point. Yeah, so we're just gonna go and sleep on it, and first thing in the morning we're gonna go for some flint, upgrade all, all of our tools. Okay, this is embarrassing. And, uh, yeah. Figure the rest of the things in the morning. I actually slept with my door open, oh no. Okay, I think we're in the sixth day. Yeah, so sixth day in, we have our base that will take us all the way up to the Black Forest and beyond. <laughs> Honestly, it can take you even beyond the Black Forest, like I said. Now, time to grab some flint. Actually, if you want to repel the first event super easily, you can just grab a torch like this. And none of the... Uh, boar or an egg will get near you. <laughs> no, they won't get anywhere near you because they're, scre they're afraid of fire, so... Let's see. Need this precious flint, because I've last left all the other flint in the other base. So we're gonna need quite a lot of it, and two batches might still not be enough. But yeah, I actually have to do this. I will end the episode. We're gonna end the episode after we upgrade all of our tools because we have to get to the black first in the next episode oh my god so much stone here wow i'm gonna grab it all of it actually so yeah we're gonna definitely gonna have uh the dirt wall raised in the next episode not that i need it with the ikthyr raid so i have a, a plan a better plan for this uh challenge and the plan goes as follows Hold on. And the plan goes like this. I am gonna... I'm not gonna defeat the Elder. We're gonna go to the Swamp without having the Elder defeated. We're gonna go to the Mountains without having the Elder defeated. And I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna... Ooh, there's a tree left here. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna use the Stag Breaker. 
This is the advantage on this class. We're going to use the spec breaker to find ore. Right? Because they still haven't removed that... Uh, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't think it's a glitch. But I'm going to call it a glitch. Where if you hit the ground, you can actually spot some ore. So we can have iron ore from uh, scraps in the swamp without entering the dungeons. That's even better we, because we don't have to fill with the enemies in the dungeons. But apparently flint is super hard to come by. What the heck is happening? I'm gonna have to go the other way of the ha the other uh, the other way too. So like I said, we're gonna go and use the stack breaker. Some extra honey here. And what the heck? Let's grab it. And basically, we're gonna have very advanced gear without uh, spending too much time and worrying about dying. Of course, there's a very good chance of me dying while doing all of this, so... <laughs> We're gonna have to play super duper safe. And actually, some nice... Some nice flint here. There's our boat. Where We're coming all the way back to our boat. Yeah, this is the place to get flint, obviously. What was I doing? Oh, that's stone. But yeah, this is the plan because if we're gonna play this class, I'm gonna need advanced gear before moving to the other biomes. And that is dungeons. The only thing I'm scared of is the dungeons, obviously, and the boss fights. I'm gonna need to dodge roll during boss fights. I'm not gonna be able to block anything because obviously the damage the damage output of the bosses is far too far too large for me, far too big. The big damage numbers. I actually wanna grab some extra more. Let's just get back to the house real quick, back to the base. Yeah, we're good. Just uh, checking there. Pressing the escape button, you can actually check when is the last time you saved, so you know how much time of the day you have left. So I'm used to... Uh, <laughs> I'm used to hunt seagulls to take them down. While playing the archer class, I don't need to. T I don't need as many feathers on this class, but I do need them for the feather cape later on. Let's grab this stone too, because, like I said, I'm gonna need all the stone that I can get my hands on. But obviously, like I showed you there, if you go on those slopes, you can find a lot of stone. So we can do that. We can have our wall raised super easily, super fine, and we don't need the pickaxe. Wish there was a shortcut to farm the ore like this. The only shortcut that I know of, so let me know in the comments if you know another shortcut, but the only shortcut that I know of is uh, actually using a troll to help you farm. And that's way too dangerous to do on hardcore for my death. If this was hardcore only, I would have totally gone for the troll. But uh, on permadeath, I, given the last death to the troll that I've had, due to that uh, small difference in altitude between me and him. And I dodge rolled, but the game didn't register my dodge roll. Since I was a bit lower, I still got a nice... he still got a nice chunk of my health, meaning all of my health. So yeah, given how the last fight with the troll went, I'm not gonna risk it again. I'm a bit scared of trolls now, I'm not gonna lie. There's no point of hiding that from you. So we're not gonna fiddle with trolls anymore. At least not until I get my hands on the Abyssal Razor. Because that's gonna be a huge improvement in damage. We can sneak on the trolls, we can grab them like that. I do have too much honey on me. I don't need the extra carry weight right now. So I'm gonna place it right there. Okay, some, some extra flinch here. I think I'm gonna need another... Uh, and they're 30, because I do have the flint spear, I do have the dagger, and there's a lot of flint elements here that need flint. And also the upgrade for the workbench and everything else that eats a lot of flint. Basically 25 flint, just for the upgrades. So I'm gonna need another batch of 30. Of course, of course. Yeah, stamina is forever a problem, especially early in the game. But definitely, this is the way to go. With two health foods and one stamina food. Oh my god, look at that much. There's a lot of stone here. I'm just gonna come for this between the episodes. 
format everything off the camera and keep the building, the raids and everything on the camera. Just don't want to have the grind here. Come on. Because nobody likes the grind, it's a bit boring. Nothing, nothing really to see. Just hear me yapping and blapping about everything. Okay. I think we're good. Can grab if I can grab ten extra flint I'll be super happy. And these rocks. <laughs> Cause I'm kinda of obsessed with rocks right now. I usually usually like to um gather tons of rocks when I was a kid. Like the ones that are shiny or interesting and had interesting colors I used to break rocks and look inside of them. Collecting all type type of rocks when I was a kid. And in here we're just collecting flint, unfortunately. Right, so we can take care of the upgrades, the actual upgrades. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need twenty of this. Let's see if I can remember everything perfectly. So, because I've done this a ton of times <laughs> by this uh, so far. Okay, we're gonna need nine of this. One for the rug. For some extra comfort. We're also gonna need twenty of this, and we should be good. We should be actually good. There, ta-da! As you can see. Um, yeah. That should fit right there, because I was a bit worried that that wouldn't fit. Now we can actually upgrade everything. So, six and four. Six flint, four. Six flint. So when I upgrade things, I usually go like this. I know it's a bit annoying, but bear with me. What happens, if I don't go like this, I usually uh, mess things up. And instead of upgrading, I usually craft items. That can happen too. Okay, flint spear, six wood, ten flint, two scraps. Okay. So, uh, six wood, see, like I told you, a ton, a ton, just a ton of flint. Two scraps, was it? Not 100% sure. Yeah, and four for the dagger. That's actually for the knife. <laughs> Let's actually upgrade the knife this time. I'll keep going with the other one. Okay. Our knife is done. Oh, we can go for the club too. Can we upgrade the armor? Yeah, I kind of need more. Uh, we actually, I think the wise thing to do here, because we don't have a lot of it, we only have 10. Is to upgrade the armor. I don't think I have enough deer hide there. Oh! Oh, wait. What am I doing? <laughs> it's in here. Oh, so we can upgrade just one piece. Let's upgrade the helmet there. We can go for one extra piece. Actually, let's just do that. Let's go for an extra piece of armor right here. Let's go hiding some deer. Because I haven't done that. And I'm kind of out of deer hide, so that's a problem. But there were some deer right here, so we're gonna hunt some deer, and we're gonna wrap up the episode right here. Yeah, and I definitely need to grab me some bones. Try to take out some skelly skellies. There's a lot of boar right here, and I'm gonna take all of them out. I'm just gonna go for every single one of them. Ooh, I went, <laughs> went on top of it. Yeah, let's... Actually, let's not aggro all of these on our head. Because I'm still scared of them. What I can do... Is take them one after the other, like this. Yeah, definitely... The food helps. <laughs> so we're not getting staggered, we're good. Getting our um, resources back. There's another boar right there. Oh, actually, I can keep the head. I don't have the boar head for the trophy case. Also, having a trophies 
having a lot of trophies in your house, uh, hung on the wall, so not in the chest, but hung on the wall, that actually increases the chance of a raid to spawn. So there's a lot of elements that increase the... Ooh. Actually, let me go for the dagger. Because like this, I'm not going to spook the other one. So there are a lot of elements that actually increase your um, your raid chance. Building recently, a lot of... Uh, Large builds, so a lot of build pieces. Oh no, don't do this to me, Bambi, come on. Oh god. Well, I went for a deer and I got a lot of boar. Ooh, there was another deer right here. It was a one-star deer, let's go for that one. Because I remember seeing her. Around here somewhere. No, I don't want to spook her. We have to be quiet. We have to be sneaky. Where the heck is it? Okay. Again, came for the deer, got the boar. I'm not complaining, actually, the boar meat is super, super useful for sausages, too. So we're gonna need a ton of it. If I ever want to bite into those sausages. There's just a normal one here. Really? Okay. I'll take it, I guess. There was a one-star deer. I kind of want the one-star Bambi. Yoink. Yoinkers. There we go. Come on. Okay, we can go through the forest here. Just a small... Uh, I don't want to get lost. Oh right, there's the village, there's mushrooms here. Ooh, we can we can go for actually I can do it as off camera. <laughs> A session of hunting. Although some of you might want to see some hunting going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, 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 wait. No, really, come on, how'd you spot me there? I was behind a rock. Freaking Bambi and her Spider-Man senses. And look again, found more boar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can definitely go for some extra raspberries, and why not? Let's just have them all in the chest. So a nice session of hunting and farming in the meadows. Looking for deer, but finding only boar. So definitely want to go for the um, knife hunting. Because if I go for the spear hunting, and there are two deer, I can only get the one. The, one, the other one will get spooked. Super scared. Okay, let's get back home, because, um, and if I find any deer on the way, that's that's fine. We do have enough for uh, one extra upgrade. But the deers and the deer hide seem to elude me. There's definitely not enough deer. Just want to stay here and listen it for a second. I can hear some. That way it might start raining. Oh, it's gonna start raining. Ah, great. Does the rain muffle my steps? Okay, there's one here somewhere. Can I keep hearing her? I just can't see her. Oh, 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 oh. Come on! <laughs> no way! No way, what's with her senses? What's happening here? What's, am I getting raided or what? What's, <laughs> what's with all the monsters charging at me? For no reason. I also lost the bird. Yeah. Is that my one star? Ooh, that's my one star. Hold on, we're gonna go like this. Get a bit closer to her. Let's start sneaking around. Oh, I definitely want this. I want this one. Please, don't spot me. Yes. Got her. Good Bambi. Nice. Okay. Now that we have everything that we need, we can proceed back to the base. Yeah, gotcha. Actually, the da the dagger, the knife damage is one-shotting the next at this point. Imagine having the Abyssal Razor this early on. I need the pickaxe for that, though. We can use the raft to go for some uh, 
if I go during the daytime, because there are no serpents spawning during the daytime, we can actually go for some... Uh, try and find some leviathans. Maybe we'll get lucky. Who knows? Because I kind of know where they spawn. I mean, area-wise. Okay, we can upgrade everything else in the next episode. So, um, I think it's enough for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. We've made it. I think that's a kind of kind of a good progress, given that we are on the sixth day. So we have our base, we have a ton of resources, and we can move for the Black Forest, maybe in the next episode, or go for some Leviathans, once defeating the Actir. I still haven't figured that out yet. Maybe grab some walls around the base, and then go for Leviathans. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the very next episode. Cheers.